So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the 23rd World Tournament DLC, came out August of 2023, not too long ago. And guys, I just want to say, listen, when it comes to Kakarot and their DLCs, when it comes to the cutscenes, man, they really know what they're doing. Do like on this video, subscribe if you're new. If you have seen my other reviews, my I was wrong about Kakarot, my Power Awakens, my Warrior of Hope DLC, and all that good stuff. I didn't do walkthroughs for those, but I did reviews, and I decided to do a walkthrough for this one. And this was a pretty fun walkthrough. It was actually simple and sweet, and this is just my review for it because I did a review for all of them, so gotta keep up with the tradition. Now, with all that being said, we get on into the actual content of you know the 23rd world tour tournament when it comes to the story i really like how how do you say they really really wanted to go based on the anime and the manga you can tell that they did try to be as accurate as possible um by dropping little tidbits of information um staying true to the ground based combat um just some of the stuff they were saying especially in the cutscenes, and just especially like how it was run like i really enjoy like how Kakarot runs their their story mode to the point where it's like you're it's like watching an anime like I sat through every single cutscene you can watch my walkthrough on it like you now you can actually see how I play through it and I sat and watched through every cutscene and I was enjoying it like it was watching a Dragon Ball episode it made me want to go and watch Dragon Ball and they again I like what they did they emphasized little tidbits of information like the sensu beans and just just old Dragon Ball lore things that we know as Dragon Ball fans. And again, if you have not bought this DLC, it is one of the cheaper ones, I think. It's like $13.99 right now. Um, cheaper, newer ones, I should say. And again, it is short and sweet and simple. And it, it's, it does its justice. It satisfies me just enough. And I think that's where the tipping point comes for this game. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot 23 World Tournament DLC is a great way to get into the old lore of Dragon Ball, to experience that story, and to really see the characters in their, I would say their first prime, you know, when they're like, this is when Dragon Ball was kind of like, still kind of baby, like it's still, you know, older Dragon Ball, and people can kind of see it and be like, yo, this still was great, like, you're, you're not watching a super, you know, a Dragon Ball Super Vegito versus Black Freezer or something. No, I'm just making up something. You're not watching something of that caliber. You're watching a simple world tournament, ground-based combat, old school type vibes, and you're and I'm still enjoying it. But again, the tipping point, I think, for this game was there was just just a little less content than I would have liked to experience. They really did emphasize. Uh, they wanted you to see a lot of the lore and cutscenes rather than experience it. And I wanted to kind of do more experiencing it. And it was, like I said, it was kind of just like rewatching an episode. Um, to a point where, again, like I've said this in, in some other reviews, they kind of do so much to the point where the cutscenes where it's like you, you'd rather go watch the show and still watch, you know, watch the cutscene and watch the animation, watch the whole episode. Then sit there and watch, you know, the cutscenes that they were providing. I'm not complaining about the length of the cutscenes this time. I'm just complaining that maybe you should combine more content or action uh, provided with it. Because some of the fights, I again, I would, you could see through my walkthroughs, walkthroughs again. It felt a little short. Like, it was like I was beating him. And then it was, okay, cool, watch a cutscene. And then it was like, you know, watch a cutscene and then beat him. Again, the formula would be the same, but it's just they do it differently. Now, these cutscenes, you know, phenomenal. I loved watching them. They were they were fun to watch. But it was like some of them I'd like to I'd like to maybe some more quick time events. Um, stuff like that. I really wanted to add more in these DLCs. Like it's good that they have a formula, but I would like them to do a little bit more. I did see that they did more with animation and you know, just kind of like the dialogue and everything. It kinda of, it was a bit more crisp. This DLC did feel a bit more crisp like it felt a bit well more well done not not many dead areas i could say like that's a good part too like it was a merry dead sections because like i said even more i'm emphasizing the cutscenes. i wouldn't call those dead sections i would just say that we just needed a bit more balance with them if that makes sense but like i said they, it was fun to watch um fun to enjoy um again that that side of goku 
and yeah i don't know this is, again it was a short it was a short dlc it wasn't that long maybe I, all the videos put together probably about two three hours um not not too long and so yeah I, I, it was pretty enjoyable for my time and i was I actually had fun recording it as well so uh getting on into the actual review i'm going to rate this dlc a solid seven out of ten uh in my walkthrough i did say it was a eight out of ten but 7 out of 10 because, yeah, it, it, it could have done a little bit more. They did give us something small at the end to, you know, do some enemy, you know, fight with some other enemies or whatever. But, yeah, you know, I, I, it, it was more so like, a, oh, experience the Sword of Dragon Ball kind of like ran you through it. And then, you know, you know it was kind of over. And I know the other DLCs, they did a little bit more with that, you know, especially with the, you know, uh, Power Awakens, the second one specifically. They, they did a lot more with that one. Uh, one, of the, one of the better ones. I think I rated that one pretty high. So this was my review on 23rd world tournament of dragon ball z kakarot if you guys enjoyed my walkthrough for it let me know go back and watch it check it out in my walkthroughs playlist and if you enjoyed my review for this video leave a like and if you subscribe if you're new and get on some more dragon ball z kakarot content peace